Hello, I am Pippi Grits, and tonight, hopefully tonight, we should be finishing the amazing game, Mountain Crime Requital. Now, I believe the body count is potentially up to seven for Philip now. Uh, I think he had a hand in... Uh, directly in three deaths. We'll see how much of a hand he had in the other ones, but, um... Uh, previously, right before uh, ending last episode, a, a man claiming to be the arsonist who set fire to the hospital resort uh, jumped off a cliff, but we have not found him yet, so who knows. But first, Sparkles. Oh, it does test out the picture. Getting trickier on me. Oh, that is a hideous tie. Alright, brush in a purse. Brush in a purse. I just need a brush. Ha! I love you. Oh, it needed the wheel. What did need the wheel? Aha, right up here. Oh, no, 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 no. You go up here. And I have to find something to cut that off. Where? Shall we go to the workshop? Let's go. Sparkles! Oh, the sparkles. Oh, hey, I've seen lots of these floating around. Wondering if they'd come back. Of course, watch me not find any of them easily. Now that I'm actually trying to look for them. Register I'm fixing. All right, crank. Make yourself known. Ha ha ha! You're just staring straight at me. What's wrong with me? Do I not remember where that bag is? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's right, the little panda bag. What is that? Gas? What? Little girl? Child? Could anyone could have this? Little child had a gas tank. Statement. Yesterday, Nick Stone, a student at the orphanage, told me about Brad Trong's behavioral problems. So Nick is the one... Okay, so Nick must have been drowned, and then the shapeshifter took his body shape. Still no answers to that, so I'll be excited to find out about that. Uh, yesterday, Nick Stone, a student at the orphanage, told me about Brad Trong's behavioral problems, who apparently Philip looks like. Then I caught Brad damaging my personal property. To punish him for not respecting my things, I locked him in a closet for one hour. Unfortunately, that's when the fire started and the rush to evacuate the other... Children, I forgot about Brad. Oh my god! His younger sister, Martha, noticed he was missing and went to look for him. 
I was holding two kids who were injured in the fire and was unable to stop Martha. As a result, she was trapped in the fire. Oh my god, you walked a child in a closet and then a fire went off. Oh, oh, you're a bad person. Oh, you're a bad person. You shouldn't lock a kid in a closet anyway. Did, did Meredith eat it? I feel like, of all the people, sh <laughs> All right. Where am I taking these goods to? Oh, still in the ski resort. Okay. I've done that. Oh. It's just I've already done all that. Oh, I need something from there. Wire. Oh, I can cut the wire now. Yes. Come, we must find out if Charlie is number seven. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Oh, this is not safe. This is not OSHA approved. All right, new area. Oh, you're so cold. Me, me, me. Is there new stuff in here? I guess maybe, maybe not. Sort of five. Oh, oh. There. Take me to the sparkly area. Yes. What? What are these things? There's one, it's huge. That's not a gas can. Yeah, the gas can. Canister, excuse me. Let's see a valve, some rope, a couple of rags. Alright, there's that. That, again, another huge thing just staring me in the face. Alright, just need a valve. Is that you? Nope. Aha! Oh, it's a hot air balloon! Oh, I had to repair a hot air balloon so I could find a knife. Oh, God! <laughs> Why, why not? What do you got to lose, Philip? Blow up the side of the mountain with a hot air balloon. <laughs> could cause an avalanche that solves all our problems. Oh, a puzzle. And a cup of snow. Melt it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, is this Charlie? No, Charlie didn't. Fall up. Who is this? Just like in a horror movie, I'm falling in trouble. Boy, all the amazing music's back. Who is this? Oh, Christian Patowski. Sinner's Hour's personal assistant. Oh, poor bud. No, I want to know who this is. Yeah, we got gas. Oh, yeah, sure. Give me a gun. All oh, right, this the gun has how many bullets? I need ammunition in order to survive an encounter with the killer. I feel like he needs ammunition to survive an encounter with you, personally. Anything else? To whom does this backpack belong? The murderer or his victim? Um, am I melting snow? I get a cup full of snow of hot water to throw on the body or the puzzle. Not sure which. Probably the puzzle. Yeah, come on. I'll dig him out later. What is an eighth body at this point? Oh, my inventory is empty. Arrange the tokens on the lock according to the image. Oh no, another one of these. <sighs> 
One button moves all the tokens in the corresponding line one position clockwise. Oh no. Fill it faster. Oh no. Uh, what is. Alright, there's too many stars. There. And I need. No, not that one. Shit. Alright, I've got star, star. Six, 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 six. Oh no! Okay, star, circle, star, star, star. I did the square. I'm satisfied. Because <laughs> this. Oh. God. Why? How long do they expect me to attempt this? I, I guess as long as this, but. I feel like this is going to give me an aneurysm. Let's see. You are only supposed to have two circles. And I'm messing up the square. Oh, no. Nay, I say. I, I don't even know how to begin with this. Uh, see? See, I've got him. And now this dumb square's fucked up. Ugh. Oh no. You're supposed to be a circle. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. This one's correct. This one's correct. But I still have two fucking shapes. Uh, you're supposed to be a star. And then... Actually, everything else is correct. Maybe I just fuck around. <laughs> oh, oh, finally. Thank you. This place is too beautiful to have been abandoned for no reason. Something terrible must have happened here. Philip, I feel like you haven't been paying attention. I should try to turn on the TV as I might hear some good news. <laughs> no! Damn, is anyone coming to get us out of here? It's locked. What a shock. Uh, oh, well, I mean, let me just climb on in there. Okay, I can't take it with me. Oh, the last notes are dated 1990. Diagram of maximum temperatures. Okay, got pretty cold, I guess. This building looks like it's about to collapse. I better keep my distance if I want to survive. And other people who want to survive should keep their distance from you, Phil. All right. Uh, oh, what do I have? I have a broom. Oh, no. Alright. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> the victim the is holding- The boss delegated oh. a sensitive matter to me today. I need to talk with Charlie about doing some work for us. I also need to plan everything well as my boss's reputation and likely my life are at stake. All right, who's the boss? So Charlie did, in fact, set the fire. Why he's here now. Christian, take care of these problems. Use all of the sources at your disposal. Mr. Zyler, 87. And we said, 
Charlie, right? The boss delegated. Yes, sensitive Charlie. Data. All right, shut up. Shut up, Demi. Wait, is there anything else? No. Oh. Oh, oh, we got more sparkles. It's hard to see with all the snow. All right. A series of tubes. and cords. No, nope, no. Go back. Too low. This is a vacuum. Why am I gonna vacuum? No! I knew where it was! Asshole! That's how I, I had to do it to get the snow out of the truck. There's no other way. Um, what am I unscrewing? What is still here? All right, the lift. I need to unscrew something. No, no, just take me down. Is still here to do. Break it open. Fine. No, nope, I don't care about the temperatures. All right, any batteries? I have a gun that needs ammo. I'm honestly not seeing anything. All right, let's go back. Don't, don't do this every time. Ha-ha! There we go. Yes. I've... Don't tell me I need more than one battery. Do not. Oh, I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna be upset. No, let me at least read the journal while I'm on this animation. Alright. Yes, okay, that's all I needed there, at least. Um... No! What else is there to do? I've done your sparkles. He looks oh. freshly murdered. Give me your battery, that's right. He looks fresh, how can you t Oh, okay, you're a physician, but still. How's he freshly murdered, but has... Recording of instructions from 87 on him. I'm hoping for goodness. It looks like surveillance footage of Catherine's room. Oh, it's Jack. The only other living person. Jack was looking for something in Catherine's suitcase, and now everyone except him and me are dead, which leaves me with one conclusion. And it leaves him with the advantage in this game of cat and mouse. And he's armed and I'm not. I can't leave this place without a loaded weapon. Oh, the cops the bad guy? Dead body found at weather station. Jackson Rayner, the local tutor who's been searching for Brad Trong. Yesterday I discovered the body of Paul Fitterson at the weather station in Hornell Canyon. Rayner immediately called the police. According to their initial investigation, Fitterson was choked to death. The killer used the top... <laughs> The killer used the tie the victim was wearing. The police have not found a suspect, but will continue to investigate the murder. We have learned that the police believe the motive behind Fitterson's death is buried in his past. Throughout this life, he experienced many financial difficulties and grew deep in debt. The police are collecting information about Fitterson's life since 1988 as part of their investigation. We will report any additional details that come to our attention. 95. Oh, wait, wait. There is a shapeshifter at play, so it could be a shapeshifter as the cop. Assuming that pays off. Alright, you keep going on about this gun. 
I don't know what to get you for ammo. I've got this. Oh! Where did you come from? Pick that lock, boy. Now I have ammo. Alright. There you go. Now I can return to the hotel and detain Jack. Oh, you're going to detain Jack, are we? <laughs> Me and my little loaded gun and my little ski lift. Oh, oh! Run, Philip, run! We're the only survivors, Philip, which means you're the killer. <gasps> nice try, Jack, but I've already figured out what happened here. <laughs> the events of this night are connected to an old mountain retreat, St. Anna Resort, and its owner, Bill Wilton. His daughter convinced his mechanic to sabotage Whoa. the brakes of his car. Okay. On that day, Bill died in a car accident. Okay. The notary had failed to announce Bill's last will and testament, oh so gosh, Amber amazing. received everything her father owned. Amber, in turn, sold the resort to Zeeler, who intended to turn a quick profit by closing the place and burning it down for the insurance money. Local residents uh -oh. were upset about Zeeler closing the resort, but that didn't stop him. Instead of reopening the place, he had his assistant hire Charlie to burn it down. Okay. And then two kids died. Then Zeeler bribed a policeman to close the case. And that policeman was you, Jack. You accepted blood money in exchange for letting a killer go free. But what but about you your pictures? Your mouth shut and told Catherine Miller everything. Instead of notifying the authorities, she blackmailed Zeeler. And what about you, Philip? How are you connected to all of this? Hmm? Never oh, mind. God. I should allow your secrets to remain buried in the past. Ah! Oh! Oh, boy. What else is happening? Who are you? All right, body number nine. You don't remember me, but I it remember is a you. Twin. Yes. You're my twin brother. Ah. I also remember our sister. Martha, oh my god! Oh god! And how she kept screaming for you until she died in the fire. I tried to save her, but I couldn't. And where were you, with your new family? But don't worry. Today, we've exacted revenge for every misfortune that has befallen our family. <laughs> what the absolute fuck? off to prison and then credits oh my god oh my god what a fucking downer of an ending that's hilarious I kind of love it oh oh thank you everyone Oh my god. Oh. Phillips just got hauled off to prison. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Oh, oh. Okay. I gotta go to the menu on my own. I. Man. Well, well, I do feel like it was a little, this is a little short episode, but I, I, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> um, well, thank you 
for coming with me on this journey, especially. Um, if you like what you've seen and enjoy it, uh, please consider subscribing. I am Pippi Grits, and have a good night. <laughs> Thinking about poor Philip. <laughs> in the, uh, running in prison as his twin brother actually has a nice life now. <laughs>